Hello and welcome to another episode of Glory of Golden State Gaming. I'm your host Swamp Swimmer, and with me, as always, the Tweedledee to my Tweedledum, the Spacey. Hey, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> so you know, I'm thinking of uh, ways. Well, first off, if you're watching this, please hit that subscribe button. We have a goal here at uh, Glory of Golden State. We want to get up to a higher number of subscri subscribers. So if you're not, please hit that button. Uh, we greatly appreciate it. But I was thinking if we were to make some sort of swag, maybe a t-shirt, what would you want on that t-shirt? And my initial thought is we have a white t-shirt on the front, it's the symbol, the Glory of Golden State gaming symbol. And on the back, it says, Glory of Gold. I like that. I like that. That's a good one. <laughs> it's a good yeah, looking that's... emblem. I think it's a, uh, I think that's a good call. You might want, I mean, because there's so much Ninth Age Association, you might want to do the Ninth Age emblem on the back, maybe. No, that's a good, that's a good idea. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe. All right. Well, if you guys are interested in a shirt, hit the message. It's something the message you would want to see on that. I'm considering it. I'm looking at prices, but who knows if I can make that happen. But let's go ahead and get on to our battle report. Um, let's see here. We're through round one. I got a, a seven that went to a ten because I was playing the ringer and you got a what was it? Eight. An eight. So both of yeah. us not starting strong, but we're not horrible either. And uh, in your round one, you faced Daryl with the Dwarven Holds. And I guess who I get faced up with in round two, back-to-back -back battle reports against Daryl and the fun police dwarves. Just lucky, I guess. <laughs> oh, boy. So it's a, uh, and this one, it's Donna Salt Hold the Ground. If you're interested in my list, please go back to the round one video and we'll explain that all to you. And if you want to know about Daryl's list, go back to uh, your round one because he's basically got the Super Killy King, Super Killy Thane, two Rune Smiths, big block of gray beards, big of a block of Deep Watch with the characters in it, uh, three sticks of Clan Warriors with great weapons, 16 Seekers, two Vengeance Seekers, and two Cannons. Pretty just tough, uh, tough Dwarven Holds list. I mean, he's just got that super killy unit that I, don't, I just don't want to fight. No one wants to fight it, right? Right. <laughs> yeah. It, that's that's why it's it's like a game denial list, <laughs> <laughs> which is like, and it, well, anyways, we've talked about it. Yeah, not, not so fun. Yeah, so basically my plan going into this is just... Uh, the same as a lot of people. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna engage the big block and try to chip off as many other points as I can, and um, and try to get secondary. Mm -hmm. That's my goal. Uh, I take uh, on the shamanism wizard. I take awaken the beast and swarm of insects. Um, awaken the beast is always good, and s since he's only got two cannons, he doesn't have light shooting. I don't really need um, chilling howl. I just a swarm of insects might be good against the cannons. That was my thought process. Okay. So this is deployment. If I remember correctly, yeah. All right. So I dropped to go first, and uh, it's it's Don Assault. So he was denied deployment over here in the top right. I, was, I yeah. And then and then he got forced in kind of like a bottleneck here. So he's denied on the right, and then there's this big impassable here. I was denied on the left. Uh, my deployment is the giant, wild horn block, gargoyles, wild horn block, gargoyles, my um, blah blah blah. My minotaurs with the two minotaur characters in the sh in the forest here, centaurs, and then the giant on the far right hiding behind the hill. On his side, he's got the gray beards on the left here. It's behind that impassable. It's a little bit hard to see. He's got his big block with all his deep, uh, deep watch with all his characters in it here. He's got two sticks in the back waiting for my ambushers to show up. He's got one stick forward standing next to one of the vengeance seekers. He's got the seekers and then the last vengeance seeker here. Both cannons are in the forest here, or in the ruins that we put as a ruins. 
And I dropped okay. early. Yeah, so I knew he was moving off to the left. So I knew my Minotaurs, which are faster than the Wildhorns, would be able to sweep. That's what I was thinking. So basically, the Wildhorns push up in the center, try to control the uh, the center, because this is can hold, hold the center. And then the uh, Minotaurs sweep. That's That was my thought process. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, my first turn, I just push up everywhere. Everyone moves up. I hide the giant behind the impassable. Both giants are hidden from the cannons, but he, he does have a free shot at the um, at the Minotaurs. Mm -hmm. uh, I get Black Wing Tone on the Minotaurs. So now they got the long charge next turn. Okay, nice. Uh, let's see, that's my turn. In his turn, he moves up the Vengeance Seeker in the center here. Gets two of his Dwarven magic, uh, defensive magic, but I just decide not to charge him. I think I do a swarm into this Vengeance Seeker because he has a wound, but he's over here. And basically, he pushes on the left with the long horns coming around the impassable and pushes with his, of course, his big block up the center. Okay. You guys are going to fight? Uh, well, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> I mean, I definitely outchaff him, so that's. Yeah, true. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, he gets defensive magic up on that Vengeance Seeker, which I don't really care about. Uh, he misfires with one of the cannons, which is nice. Uh, and, he, and he does no other wounds with shooting, which is pretty cool. So in my movement phase, I go long bomb charge with the Minotaurs into the Seekers. And charge the centaurs into this vengeance seeker here. Mm -hmm. Isn't isn't the seeker mino match kind of not a great one because like because you they know, get to swing they they're gonna do a bunch of damage to you. I was aware of that, but I needed I wanted to just get, get through them. Okay. Um, and I felt confident I could deflect enough of the damage either with plus one toughness or with distracting. <laughs> that I wasn't okay. too worried about it. I don't know. I, I mean, I if that unit goes in, I'm gonna I'm gonna wipe the unit, and all that's coming back on me are the the swing the death swings that you're coming with me's. But I don't make the charge anyway, so okay. too bad. So move point. All right. So I throw uh, gargoyles up to chaff his big block. I turn one of the wild horn units here, which is still easily within scoring the center range, to mm -hmm. face the the gray graybeards that are coming around the corner. Okay. <clears throat> My thought process here is, if he brings them around, I'll fight him, but I'm not going to go after him because I want this unit to score, uh, hold the center points. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, let's see here. Uh, I get Blackwing Totem up again, and I get Awaken the Beast up on uh, the Centaurs to hopefully kill out this guy. Because I'm only touching him with two Centaurs, the Vengeance Seeker. Yep. And I do. He takes three with him, but I kill him. Uh, and I turn, and they're basically done. So I turn them away, and I'm just going to run them behind the hill after that. Okay. Fair enough. Were they drunk? Yes. They're drunk, so they okay. don't care about panicking or anything. They could score. True. True, true, true. Well, you'll you'll see what I'm going to do with my ambushers to ah, address okay. that. <laughs> Fair enough. See, right here, uh, one unit of ambushers come on the board. Uh, he's got the two units back there um, waiting for my ambushers, and I really don't feel like I have... Besides getting to the cannons, but they haven't done much yet. Um, I don't have great targets if the giants yeah. are hidden. And even, really, even the giants are not great targets for them because they just rev them up. And they can't kill them really realistically. Yeah. So Quickly, basically, I want to bring. I'm, I decided to bring them up whenever they come on the board. I'm gonna bring them on my board edge, move them up the center, to try to get center points, and then also eventually they could um, they can also chaff, chaff the big block. Big block. Okay. Sure. Uh, let's see here. Yeah. So in his turn, he takes the chaff with the big block. He starts mm -hmm. pushing up towards the center, and I think he gets within range to um, to tie it this turn. This is bottom of two, mm -hmm. uh, and he doesn't push up on the left with his with his graybeards. Mm. 
which guess, is n not uh, what I was He expecting. probably doesn't want that fight, to be honest. Yeah. Um, you just, I mean, because he's only a five up, right? So you just, you push through so much damage on him before he can even swing. Yeah, we actually talked about this after the game. Like, he's, he was expecting me to come after him because I could easily kill him in combat. But I didn't really care too much about killing that unit. I cared about winning the center. Yeah, okay. I think that's that's fair. Uh, and in his shooting phase, he both cannons hit the giant right here. Mm -hmm. Both wound takes six wounds off. <laughs> He's Whoa. down to one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so much for that. <laughs> yep, there's the there's the image. Cannon takes it to the face, or uh, the giant takes it to the face. Mm -hmm. uh, he kills the chap. Obviously, he reforms to face toward the center again. My turn. I double charge. Well, first of all, I charged these guys. What did I do? One of the units I charged into... Oh, I, I, I'm sorry. In his movement phase, I missed this. He moves his other Vengeance Seeker up to chaff um, the uh, the Minotaurs. Mm. So in my phase, I have to charge the, the Vengeance Seeker here at the Minotaurs. Sad, but true. And, um, and then these guys charged his stick that was contested in the objective he decided to flee with them and then i went for a uh, a little bit more i think it was a seven to get into the seekers not a whole not a, not a very long charge mm -hmm. um and but i don't make it okay. and i was it was disappointing because i wanted because you were right i wanted the uh the wild horns into the seekers not the um, the Minotaurs, but yeah. that's what it is. Uh, my other ambusher comes on. They continue to, to push up in the center. I move that giant that is down to one wound to chaff his big block unit. Mm -hmm. uh, I keep the wild horns here. Keep facing those gray bears in case they come around the hill. Mm -hmm. Not the right choice, but that is what it is. Uh, I get spectral blades off on this unit. I think. What was I? I was afraid the. I, th I was afraid he was going to charge in with his um, seekers. Okay. <clears throat> uh, what I also did is I realized I didn't want to hide the centaurs because they could easily go into the cannons and kill one. So I turned them mm. back around, and the giant, the other giant, continued on his way over here. Okay. Uh, spectral blades. I uh, kill the vengeance seeker. I. Turn to face, I go three wide because the Vengeance Seeker kills, does four wounds, I think. Yeah, not not too nice. And kills a Minotaur and puts one uh, one more on another Minotaur. Mm -hmm. so that's where I am now. He has that free charge basically with the Seekers into the Minotaurs or the Wildhorns. Okay. Uh, which he does not take. He just pushes up. Hmm. Which is interesting. Uh, he does go into the, the Wounded Giant to take that out. He continues I guess maybe to... he's worried about you blowing through them and having a free pivot. Yeah, I think so. Maybe. <clears throat> okay. Continues to not push with the Greybeards on the left. I think he, he's trying to t tempt me out of the of the center with this scoring unit. Mm -hmm. uh, what do we got here? He gets a bunch of defensive magic up on the... Um, Seekers, he blows through the giant with this big block and overruns to here. So now, still don't want to fight him, but he's uh, he's now contesting the secondary, which is annoying. Mm. And he also rallies that stick that ran away. All right, my turn. I double charge the Seekers with the Wild Horns and the Minotaurs. Okay. My thought process is here is I hopefully I'm going to wipe the unit. Actually, I think I'm mm -hmm. going to wipe the unit. Um, and I could overrun with the Minotaurs and try to get in and, and try to get all this other stuff. Uh, notice also the. Um, yeah, the, the two centaurs charged his cannon. Mm -hmm. um, and one died to the ruins. <laughs> Oh wow! Oh right, it was ruins, not forest. Okay. So I, I'm not sure if that one uh, that one centaur is going to survive that or kill the cannon, but we'll see. 
Uh, the giant here charges his stick, who flees, and I think he, he fails his redirect, which is sad, but whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, I continue to reposition re down here, so I've got the the gargoyles chaffing his big block and these two units in line to chaff after them. Mm -hmm. And right now, assuming I blow through his seekers, I'll get a, 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 a point for the center. Well, they don't score seekers. I oh, think. you're right, you're right. So I will get. Them. So I think I think you 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 already are up. You should be up by now. What turn is this? This three? is top of three. So you should be up two to no, two. No, I, I didn't get it last Smart. round because his other his little seeker blo his little uh, infantry block was contesting. Oh, okay, got it. <clears throat> uh, yeah, okay. I get Blooded Horn on the Minotaurs for more attacks. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this was this was the hard part of the game. Uh, Daryl's gonna have some words to say about it, but I I go I throw all of my attacks into the Seeker block, and the whatever Wild Horns are in into them too. I kill all but one, which is painful with Seekers. And on his swings back. He doesn't fail a single to wound roll. And so I, he, I, so I, I can I can remember something somewhat like that, <laughs> Kenyon, that went your way in our game. Um, <laughs> so he um, we'll get there. We'll get there. That you, that you didn't that you didn't finish. Yeah, I was I was absolutely shot shocked that I didn't I didn't finish the unit. Um, so I end up stuck there, which sucks. Because the Mino Lord alone should kill like six, right? With with and he's with fine, attacks so he with uh, impact hits, hits, yeah. With stomps, I I couldn't do it. Just couldn't do it. Oh, that's that's pretty bad. Yeah, and puts you in a rough spot here. Yeah, it does. Because uh, and also that kills that scoring unit. So now the the center is contested again, at the bottom of the race. Brutal. Yeah, that's a big swing. So he um. He takes the, whatchamacallit, takes the chaff here. We mm -hmm. push in this combat with the with the cannon and the centaur. <laughs> he uh, he doesn't rally his one uh, stick that ran away. It continues to run, but I think it rallies eventually. I realize these two characters are now in a lot of trouble because they don't have any defense against the cannons. Don't you have Destiny's Call on the... Yeah, well, the yeah, Aegis. the warlord, but the but the BSB doesn't yeah, have any. BSB save. is screwed. Yeah, yeah. So I try to just run him away and get him out of half range, and separate and maybe, him. And maybe get a yeah, yeah, and separate him. Um, I win the combat here. I think I'm, I'm missing a picture or two here, but I win the combat, and I run them back this way, and then these guys are moving forward, still with maintaining six inches from the center, to threaten his backfield. Are all three, or all four of your scoring units within six at this point? I think so. This is when I I knew he wasn't coming around the corner, so I moved. Yeah, I moved these guys long way to face toward the center, and then if oh. if if his big block charges in, I've got ranks. I think that's what I do. Okay. Okay. Move the giant that was over here kind of toward the center again. Uh, and the uh, the fun thing is, in his turn, the cannon doesn't fi does finish off that uh, last centaur, and I don't kill the cannon. But his cannon shooting doesn't hit, or I think he hits maybe once, but then rolls a one to wound on these characters, so these characters are safe. Mm. Uh, let's see here. Oh yeah, okay. I'm sorry. When he when he killed the chaff here with his big block, he's facing he's facing to the right right now. That's why the giant's there. Mm. The giant's gonna oh. save. Yeah. I see. Okay. So then the giant's there. I'm still in in range with scoring with these guys and these ambushers. So I feel good about getting the center. Okay. And at this point, it's a it's a push on the center. So this would this would give you the win on it. Yep. 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 Okay. Uh, he goes into the giant like we I expected. He misses his shooting against these guys. 
I actually put Clouded Eye Totem on my VSB, so he's minus one to hit, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't, I, don't, I can't remember if it affected it or not, but. Uh, he obviously destroys the giant. I decide not to charge the cannons with um, the wild horns here because I need to control the center. I think I, this is the turn I get the center token. I'm skipping through pictures here. I don't remember what turn we're on. Oh no, okay, so my wild horns do go in. I now have one, two, three units within the center. And I think this is turn five, or maybe turn six. I can't remember. And I continue to move the characters back down this way, trying to run away from those cannons. Daryl's pointing at something there. Looks like he just put an unnecessary amount of buffs up on that deep watch unit, given that yeah. you're never gonna go into him. <laughs> never, I'm, I'm never gonna let them get in combat with me. Uh, and that is the end of the game. Okay. Pretty, pretty uneventful. No big. I never go into the big block. His, his graybeards on the left never come around the corner. I win, I win the secondary in the last turn. I remember that. Um, and it ends up on points. I think it was an eleven. A 12-8 12, 12, eight, eight, eight to him, and then I got the secondary, which puts me to 11. Yeah, you burned a lot of points chaffing that deep watch unit. Using giants as chaff is always a bit painful because they're so expensive comparatively. Yeah, um, yeah, I understand that. But it's just they were in the right place at the right time, and the one the one giant I used as chaff had already lost six wounds to cannon, so I'm just like, just put him in there. Yeah. And hold is tough. I mean, similar to my game against him, right? Hold or King are both tough games against this list because they kind of force you to go into the deep watch to win the objective, right? Mm -hmm. At least not, maybe not in combat, but you got to get within striking distance, right? <laughs> Which means you have to burn a lot of points on chaff, right? So, yeah, yeah. I, think... I mean, I think not a bad outcome against against this list in this Exactly. Yeah. I was pleased with the outcome. It's kind of what I wanted, a small win. With, with the secondary winning it for me. I maybe lost a few more points. I think if I would have gotten either one of those two early charges, the long bomb charge with the Minotaur unit or the um, the Wild Horns into the Seekers, it would have been a little better for me, but yeah, still somewhere around this. Yeah, fair enough. Well, good, got, got a W. That's all that counts, so mm -hmm. good work. So one small loss, one small win can't complain that's a that's a good start to a tournament it's submarine time yeah absolutely okay uh, but hey if you're still watching please like and subscribe we'll be on to vespasian's round two next video and uh, everyone have a good evening thanks everybody